Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Spring is upon us, and that means it's protection time. So the only question to answer is, what are you gonna to use to protect your car? And that's where this video comes in handy. We're gonna be looking at a trio of protection products from Japanese detailing manufacturers, Soft 99, and that epic Fuso range. So stay tuned to find out exactly what it's all about. Welcome back to the channel guys. Do not forget to hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you're interested in detailing products and seeing product reviews and how to's and tips and stuff like that. Now, in this particular video, we are looking at something that's gonna be known as the protection time set. What do we mean by protection time? Well, Soft99 are introducing a concept that there's really two ideal opportunities to use the products that I'm gonna show you in this video to protect your car. And that is in autumn and spring. Why those two particular times, guys? Well, as well as the weather conditions in the UK being very kind of all over the place, freezing cold rain to sometimes a sunny day, pollen starting on the trees in spring, they're the opportunities really to strip down your car, clean it off, and then apply protection to get you through that next period. So very much this concept is all about protection time and the products that you can use to get you through with those two seasonal opportunities. So now we understand the concept of when it's useful to protect our car, the next thing we need to move on to is what products are in this trio. Now the first one, if you haven't heard of this product, where have you been? This is probably the first product that went viral in the UK by word of mouth alone. So everyone was using this product when I just sort of discovered the detailing scene about six or seven years ago. Now, the reason it went viral is because essentially this is a tin of car wax sealant. The thing people noticed about this product is one, the durability over conventional organic paste waxes. The next thing people noticed was the extreme hydrophobic performance of this wax. Now it's called Fuso because that actually means fluorine in um, Japanese and that forms part of the um, constitution of the wax. So it has fluoropolymers in, in there or some sort of fluorine technology. And that also is used to give dirt repellency or dirt resistance. So a similar to, sort of technology that we've heard of is, is like PTFE that's used in like non-stick frying pans and stuff like that because the dirt cannot stick to the surface. So that's one characteristic of this as well, that it should make your car easier to keep clean and dry and keep some of the contamination off of the car, which is what car protection products do. Now, the cool thing about Fuso Coat is that really, if you want to go beyond Fuso Coat in terms of durability, then you really have to go up to a um, ceramic coating which Soft 99 offer. So this is potentially as good as it gets in the format of a very easy to apply paste wax style product. So that's Fuso Coat. The next product in the set is the Glaco Compound. Now, as well as just being a glass cleaner, this product has abrasives in it. So you will have noticed on this channel that one of the main problems with cleaning your front windscreen is the scummy white film layer that can build up from um, dried on or baked on screen wash or other contamination of films of caustic chemicals which can dry on your glass. And they can be a nightmare to get off with traditional liquid-based um, glass cleaners. So to really prep your glass properly, sometimes you need to polish it. The great thing about this glass polish is it's not just a polish, it's a tool that you can use to apply and then buff it off. So this alone with a good microfiber cloth can prep your glass properly um, for the next product. And there's not many of these glass compounds on the market as well and they're really, really, really useful. So after you've prepped and deep cleaned that glass properly with the Glaco compound, the final product in the range is the Ultra Glaco, which is a rain repellent sealant, okay? And you can also apply this to your, your wing mirrors. Now, glass itself doesn't need protection, but the argument is that if you put a rain repellent in it, you get better visibility in heavy, um, heavy rain conditions where 
especially on the front windscreen, you can get like a greasy layer over the arc of where the wiper blade rolls and the water can stick to that and you can see less, okay? That's the argument for rain repellents. The important thing about this is that it uses the same Fuso technology, fluorine based technology. So as well as making it easier to see out of your glass when it's raining, it should also help protect the glass from um, dirt and contamination sticking to your uh, windscreen and other glass and wing mirror areas. So next up, I'm gonna talk about applying these products and we're gonna start with the paintwork protection Fuso coat first of all. Now it's really important to understand that before you apply protection products on top of your paintwork, you want this surface free of contamination. So washing the car gets rid of the loose dirt, but you get build up of things like overspray, tar and glue, um, sap, iron fallout, um, all these things that embed themselves. Um, and the purpose of these protection products is that once you've got a clear surface and you apply them, it makes the surface um, more resistant to uh, contamination, so you can keep your car looking better. So do not put protection products on top of dirty cars that you haven't clayed. So you want the surface to feel smooth and contaminate free. Now, they have loads of products in the Soft 99 range that we're not gonna be reviewing this video, but they've got a pitch cleaner which can, is, uh, which can remove tar and glue off the surface. You can spray it on, buff it off, and they have traditional clay bar with their soft egg clay which you rub over the surface and it picks up and scoops the contamination off the surface. This is the stuff which really makes a difference. Then after you've clayed you can examine the paintwork and you can polish it to remove fine swirls and uh, bring up the gloss using their polishing abrasive products and finally you can do a degrease to remove any polishing oils with their degreaser uh, silicon free so it also removes silicons from the car. So very important to understand that process. Once you've done all that then you have a full bare bone prep surface that the product is gonna be able to bond to better. And then that way you're gonna be able to benefit from getting the full durability of these products. Very, very important. The next thing, you're getting 200 grams of wax here, guys. You do not need to use that whole 200 grams <laughs> when you wax your car. In fact, Soft 99 Europe advised that you could use as little to eight to 10 grams per application, which potentially gives you 20 to 25 applications. You will hear it said many, many times with detailing and applying waxes, but it's very true. Less is more. If you pick up too much wax on the applicator so that this is absolutely covered and you put a thick layer of this wax over the car, what will happen is that the outer surface of the wax will dry the bit that's exposed to the air. Underneath that, you'll still get some wet wax even after five or 10 minutes. And when you go to wipe, you'll have a smeary mess from using excess product. Do not do that. What you want to do is simply place the applicator into the pad. You can soak this applicator out in water first and wring it all out so it's damp, and then you'll pick up less product. Then you simply place the applicator in the tin, just turn it backwards and forwards a few times, when it's brand new, what you can then do is get the lid and prime it on the lid. So you're just gonna spread the wax around so the whole surface has a thin layer of wax over it. And then you're ready to apply it to the panel. So we have a prime damp applicator with a small amount of product in it. Now pay attention here, 007s, because Soft 99 give you a tip. And that tip is less is more. And that tip is to apply in smaller sections in a crosshatch pattern. How small sections, guys? Well, typically break the bonnet up into four sections at least. You could even go nine. But, you know, good sized sections like this. So I can apply this top section of the wing in one go, which is what I'm gonna do now. So, simply take your wax and then apply it a bit like a ceramic coating in crosshatch passes. and just do perhaps two passes on each little section to make sure you've got the coverage. And it spreads very, very easily. And I'm gonna show you what this wax looks like under a light source so you can get a better idea of exactly how much I've put on. 
You also want to get around the car reasonably quick when you're doing this waxing, don't you? So there, that's that wing section done and that's nothing unusual and that's nothing difficult. Now let's get the light source and show you what the wax looks like. So the key thing here, guys, is a very thin layer of wax over this surface. No big thick trails or tram lines of it all over the place that are gonna smear. Just a thin layer of wax. How long do you leave it? Soft 99 Europe advised between five to eight minutes before you buff. If it's warmer, it's gonna be closer to five minutes. If it's colder, it's gonna be closer to eight to 10. After you've buffed the product, you wanna leave it for at least 12 hours to fully cure off before washing or getting the car wet again. But this gives you an idea of how much you should be putting on. As long as there's a film of it there, guys, you're done, okay? It will haze up as well, so keep an eye on it. One other thing that I can notice about this, in 2019, Fuso had to change the formula to use more eco-friendly solvents. And you can really notice that with the smell of the product. There was almost like a sort of kerosene smell before, like petrol, but now you can virtually smell anything. So I think they've replaced it, tweaked the formula, put some more oils in there instead. So it's slightly more eco-friendly to work with. Let's get started with the buff, guys. So clean microfiber towel onto the panel and just buff gently in tiny circles. You should not have to be buffing hard. Okay, that's the important thing, just gentle buff. And then the product should just reveal gloss. You shouldn't have to keep going over it and buffing. Just one decent pass and you are done. And I've got a line here where I haven't buffed and where I have buffed. So I want to show you the results um, by taking the camera off the tripod and just going in so we get a kind of live feel to this. So you can see there we have a perfect finish no ghosting, no greasy buffer trails, just a perfect finish, okay, on the product. And that is because we haven't over applied. And if we come over here, you'll see, there is our thin film of product. So, buffed panel, unbuffed panel, and if I take, this is very hard to film, I'm gonna try and buff this while holding the camera, guys. So let's just spin this round because I really want you to see a real buff. Right, so here we go. Just gentle buffing in circles. Look, come in focus onto the microfiber there, there. So it is, if you don't over apply, it is incredibly easy to work with this product. Look at that. Very, very easy. And again, guys, you see the product film over there. Just want to capture in real time, buffing that. So here we go. It just, if you, it's, it's easy. It looks good. The key is light though, guys. You, you really, when you're applying any sort of wax, you really want to have good lighting down. But this product, is a doddle to work with as long as you follow as long as you follow those rules you see that that's a good finish so the good news is my friends we've applied this and it is very easy but i will link in the description of this video the soft 99 europe um, youtube channel where they do a dedicated video on applying this product and there's further tips in there that you can um, learn even more about the product on. So that's useful, helped me in this video. One other thing I may have mentioned before is leave it for 12 hours before you wash the car to fully cure. By giving it that full cure of 12 hours, you're gonna maximize the durability even more. After that point, the benefits are there, guys. The first thing you're gonna notice is the crazy water repellency from that fluorine. Now we did a test about five or six years ago in the Autoglim labs where we measured not the contact angle, but the roll down angle of a panel to see at what angle the water would roll off of the car. And out of all of the, I think there's at least 25, maybe 35 waxes tested, um, Soft 99 Fuso Coat had the lowest 
roll down angle. So in other words, the water would roll off the car the easiest. So that's one of the first things you're gonna notice. The second thing you should hopefully notice with the fluorine technology is that the car will be easier to maintain and keep contaminate free. So um, when you're pressure washer in the car and it's got a layer of dirt film on it over, over winter, for example, then you should hopefully see a lot more of that dirt come off just under the pressure wash. So therefore there is less to remove during the contact wash, which is gonna help maintain the finish of your vehicle. Next up guys, before we apply the Ultra Glaco rain repellent to our uh, glass of our car and our wing mirrors, we need to exfoliate that glass, in particular, the front windscreen, which picks up that, you often get that scummy st uh, soap stain from the screen wash build up. But you can also have the re remnants of old um, rain repellent products on there that you wanna strip so you get the best optimum bond, but also you wanna degrease it and remove any sort of grime and oils off of that screen. Now, there's two types of glass cleaners. You get the alcohol solvent based glass cleaners, which can degrease to a certain extent. And, um, you know, Soft 99 have got a good glass cleaner gel, but then you get the abrasive ones. So the key thing to understand about this product, it's an abrasive cleaner, so it's gonna scrub harder and really get you back to bare prepped glass, okay? And the other cool thing about it, it's not just, um, you know, an abrasive compound cleaner, it's also a tool in its own right. So you don't need anything else other than this product to prep your glass. And then when you wanna reapply the products, maybe in six months or a year's time, you can just use this again to remove the remnants, um, give you a bare prepped glass surface for the Ultra Glaco to properly bond on top of. Okay guys, so we've used the Glaco compound to strip down and give us bare prepped glass here and on a section of the front windscreen. Now it's bare prepped, we're gonna use the Ultra Glaco to then put the rain repellent on. Now it's really simple, a bit like the um, cleaner compound, you don't have to get your hands on the product because of the, the packaging. It's in this dispenser, which is really, really handy. So we give it a little bit of a shake, take the lid off. Now you could prime this surface because the felt will be dry the first time you use it, or just run it in circles and give it a squeeze to start seeing the liquid coming through and then you know you're gonna be putting material down on the glass. And it says to work in cross hatches. So we're just gonna follow that and make sure you get full coverage. So I can see the product there. It's almost, it feels a bit like applying a ceramic coating. Very easy. We're just going to go cross hatch. Again, the less product you can use, I'd imagine the easier it's going to be. But it's nice and slick. And I've got all of the garage doors open here as well to vent off any of the um, vapors that are in this product. So what I'm going to do is just open up so I can get the, the top edge of that glass as well. Okay. After you've laid it down, all you've got to do is wait five to 10 minutes until it dries to a white haze and then buff it off. Before we leave guys, it's important to say the protection time set that you see in this video is available from soft99store.co.uk and other distribution partners can be found on map.soft99.eu. A final summary, guys, of what this is all about. These are protection products, okay? Protection is about maintaining a good level of finish on your car. Of course, you might have to create that level of finish first through decontamination and polishing, which is a massive part of detail, which we've spoken about many times. Once you've gone through and put the work in, in your, on your car's paintwork and your car's glass to get it to that condition, then these protection products are supposed to help you maintain it. What is the important thing with the Fuso products and the Glaco stuff that we've shown? It should provide you dirt repellency, so make it easier to maintain. It should make the car easier to dry because the water won't want to stick to the paintwork. It wants to come away from the paintwork. And it should last about as long as any non-ceramic product on the market should last. But you don't have 
the downside of a difficult application or consequences of a bad application. If you apply a ceramic incorrectly and it sets, you can, you can be in trouble, especially if you do it all over your car. You have to be very careful. With this, if you apply it wrong, it's probably just gonna need a little bit more buffing out with the cloth if you put too much on there. So those are the differences, guys. The key important things though, as I've said many times in this video, Prep is very important, so is following the instructions and not using too much. If you do that, then wait a day, then you can go and have some fun, spray some water on it, watch all the water come off, go and drive through some muddy fields, get the car really, really dirty, pressure washer it off and you should see you know, the hydrophobicity coming through and hopefully the dirt falling off the car easier. And more importantly, maybe in six months time when you've gone from spring to autumn and you're ready to do this again, you'll find that your car is hopefully in better condition with less contamination than it would have been if you'd have just left it. Um, so that is important. There's gotta be practical benefits, but another important thing is to enjoy the process and have fun and take pride in it. Take your time as well. It's much better to just take a little bit longer, read the instructions and be really happy with your results than rush it, not follow the instructions, and get poor results as always. But this is very easy, guys. This is very easy. If an idiot like me can do it, then you can definitely do it. Um, all that's left to say is thanks very much to Soft99 and thank you very much for watching. Put your comments in the uh, video as always and let me know what your soft, your favorite Soft99 product is. A lot of people are gonna say Fuso, but there's some other good stuff in the range and that glass compound has really, really impressed me as a, as a cleaning product because you know those types of products are perhaps even more important to get the prep right so that's good uh, we've reviewed lots of other soft 99 stuff on the channel they've got um, good detergents they've got uh, you know lots of spray on products this is a very important product uh, question I'm going to get told this asked this a lot John I've got Fuso on my car what can I put on top of it well if you've just put Fuso down on your car you have this fluorine base dirt repellency and extreme hydrophobicity. If you then go and put like an oily organic paste wax on top of it, you're gonna bury that, that top surface properties of the fluorine and you're just gonna have a, you know, an oily paste wax that's on top and you're gonna lose the benefit. So when you put Fuso down, don't put anything on top of it is my suggestion. Yes, you know, the performance of all car protection products diminishes over time. So maybe in four or five months time, you wanna get the zing back. And now that is the bit where I urge you to go and experiment and go and look on the Fuso website because they have conventional detail sprays like Luxury Gloss, I think it's called. They also have water-based just products that you can spray on that will work with Fuso. Um, I remember the Speed and Barrier, they had one called Fuku Piku. I'm not sure if that's still available. They had a soft egg detail spray that was really cool. So have some fun with it and if in doubt, Ask the um, guys at Soft99 Europe what products they would recommend you use in combination with these, but Fuso on its own <laughs> is pretty formidable, guys, and it's about as good as you can get without going to a ceramic coating. So thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and um, that's it for now. Take care. Where was I when you